we very quickly moved on to land access and planning. So we needed to really understand how we were going to build this job and how we were going to price this job in stage two. So after that, then we moved on to uh, the compounds and the access. So we looked at where we were going to be building things, what sort of access we needed above the CVUs. Um, and then we started planning um, access routes into the job and into the into the different work areas. So then we could start looking at land access requirements. So it wasn't specifically looking at land access at the time. This was just purely looking at what we needed from a construction point of view to be able to deliver the works which are currently being proposed at the time. So in there, you can you can do your individual markups. You can start drawing areas as you click into the areas. Then um, we use this from a commercial side of things for the takeoff exercise. So it will give you the surface area, the horizontal areas, um, and that then quickly started to enable us to build up a price for installing and putting these hall roads in. So once we knew the surface area, we knew the thickness from our temporary works design of roads that we were putting in, and we started to price and plan the job for stage two using the information available from Sensat. Um, you take, like I said, you can take distance measurements. So if you're looking at kind of cliff drops and how long, how much netting you'd need in a certain section of a cliff, we were using it for things like that. Um, an example of this as well, which is quite a good example of, of where we've installed something and then post works. Um, th there's some there's some actual uh, drone footage has been taken of the works from above. Uh, so what this enabled us to do then, like I mentioned earlier, there's a viewpoint section on the side, and this allows us to create different viewpoints. So when I'm during a presentation to the client or during a presentation to our stakeholders um, or our land agent who's acting on behalf of us, I can very quickly navigate through what we need in, in the different areas by just using the viewpoints and the presentation function. So it allows me to walk the agent through each of the areas. It, very, it enables them to have a very quick understanding of the requirements in the different areas and how each of the areas link with each other rather than just looking at a 2D drawing. And our, one, our land agent, Carter Jonas, at the time, they did comment on how beneficial and how useful this was to them and how much it improved their productivity in terms of getting up to speed with the contract. Um, you know, land agents are probably the best part of £225 an hour, if not north of that. Um, so the money that it saves them in actually getting up to speed with the project at the start, it, 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 we've probably saved we've probably saved that money paying for cents up for the whole of the project just in terms of the land access sort of negotiations, really. Um, let alone any of the other functions I'm going to talk about today. So, okay, you can kind of Greg, could you explain to me, consider me the new, but but how did we speed up? So, so no, normally what, what we would get is, um, if I give you an example, I'll just come back out of this for a moment and I'll go into land access for you. So what we normally get given is a land title document. Now, what I did at the time is I very roughly drew the boundaries for the land titles in, into uh, Sensat. So we get given from the client a title document which references the who, who occupies each piece of land. Now, in this particular stretch of 1.6 kilometres, there's seven landowners, seven individual landowners that we're dealing with, with with kind of land access agreements varied from £10,000 up to £100,000. Um, now, the time taken to negotiate land access with a landowner can vary massively dependent on the information that you provide them. Now, if I'm providing a landowner with just basic information, such as a 2D plan, with no real knowledge on what we're going to be doing and where we're going to be doing it, um, they're not of a construction background most of the time, so they don't really understand, have, have an understanding of what we're actually what they're actually signing themselves up for. So they normally go back to a solicitor and get advice for them, etc. So it speeds up the the time and the process. It speeds up the negotiation side of things because what we did is we with each landowner we took the like a laptop with us to the to the meeting with the landowner and the land agent. We actually talked them through what we were going to be doing in the, the back of their property. So for example, Mr. One L here. Um, when when we took when we started the land access negotiations with him, um, I could just make this specific to Mr. One L, so he couldn't look at other landowners that we were working with and then start to negotiate based on what we were what we needed from other landowners 